Well, what's going on everybody? My name is Mitch Tabian and this is going to be another Java tutorial, Java console tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to um, grab a text document as an input with the console and copy it. So copy, I'm going to copy it line by line. This is going to be useful if you're reading like text files and selecting certain parameters out of it or maybe uh, automating some kind of text file editing process. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I did was create a foods text document that we're going to copy. And the next thing we'll do is save our file. We'll call it uh, copy file. Make sure to give it the .java extension if you're writing in Notepad. In Notepad++, that way you get, it makes it a little easier to code. And we're going to be using the .io library. And we're going to need a buffered writer library. So there's our basic stuff that we need to get our get our file started here. So the first thing we're going to do is create a buffered reader. And then we're going to get our inputs. And we're going to use a string builder to append the copied text. String builders are more efficient than strings. I'm probably going to make a tutorial on why pretty soon. Basically they um, just require less memory. And we're going to need this line separator here to create new lines for whoops, for the uh, text. Basically, if we don't add this, um, you won't get a new line created in your new file. It's just going to be a long, one long string, like it'll be ice cream, pizza, cake, and so on, all in one line. So we use this line separator to create new lines. Here's what we'll put in that line separator to create a new line. And that's actually it for this. So I'm going to catch our exception. Actually, I forgot to throw the exception up here. And we're going to create our buffered writer. And get ready to write our new file here. So we try, let's put in the catch. So the new file is named, just so the user knows what the file name is. And then we need to create our new file here, we'll call it copied file. Create a new file. And use our writer to write the new file. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's open the command line. Let's open it at the file path. So in case you don't know how to do this, it's just control sh shift and right click and you can open the command line to there. And so then we just need to compile. Hopefully it compiles the first time, hooray. And then run it, there we go. Oh, whoops, looks like we had an error. Uh, this needs to be buffered writer. Oh, press save. Okay, there we go. So our new file is named copyfoods.txt. Let's check the directory. And we have copyfoods.txt. Open it up. Okay. It looks like it just appended the file name. Um, oh, here. Copied file. So this is copied text. Okay, save that. Never works the first time. Okay, new file is named copyfoods. Let's check again. And there we go. Alright, there's our copy. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.